What's up everyone? I'm Numbers and I'm here to show you how to make a burger. Sometimes we have to stop our gaming session and go to like McDonald's or Burger King and get a subpar mediocre burger. But today I'm going to show each and every one of you how to make a superb, not subpar, but super par burger. Let's go! Ooh. To make this, you will need a few things. Number one, buns, salt, pepper, ground beef, 80-20 blend preferred, eggos, don't throw, a pan, an oven pan, two measuring things, a half teaspoon, and a half cup. I made it into a bowl. Also, a blender to make your um, breadcrumbs. You can always use like pre-made breadcrumbs and such, but until they make Hawaiian breadcrumbs, uh, I'm gonna make my own. I wanna make sure I didn't destroy anything. Step one, take out one of these. Hawaiian bunnos. Put them on uh, the oven sheet thing. Turn that Ooh. to broil and then all the way up and put those Ooh. in the oven. While those are in the oven burning a little bit, we're going to prepare the meat. Take off your wedding ring because you don't want it to get absolutely disgusting and get out the ground beef. I forgot a tool you need and that is a knife. That's really just to open the package. You could open it with your teeth if you wanted to. Now this is two pounds of beef. I need one pound of beef. Brains! Put it in a bag late, the rest in a bag later to make hamburger helper. <laughs> the fridge with your meat hands. Wash your hands to make sure you don't spread disease. Let's check on those buns. They're not burnt yet. Not ready. Next, uh, next thing, I did this in the wrong order, but you know what? I'm sure it will still work. We need one egg. That works. A teaspoon of kosher salt. A regular table salt works, but once again, being bougie, half a teaspoon of ground, finely ground black pepper, then stir that shit up real good. Pro tip, I should have stirred that shit up before so it would mix in with the meat more. Also, you should probably let your meat, like, heat up a little bit more, well, not heat up, but not um, be so refreshing refrigerator cold or whatever. Put the eggs away so they don't spoil. Time to check the bunnos again. Ooh. They're good. Turn that Ooh. off. That's gonna make some Ooh. hot breadcrumbs. Get your blender. Don't kill yourself. Break that bun up just a, how, just a little bit to make your breadcrumbs. Ooh. Hot. This on this, and then and now you have your own breadcrumbs. That was an overkill amount of breadcrumbs, though. We don't need all of that. We only need half a cup. That's what the half cup was for. I bet y'all were wondering, weren't y'all? Y'all were like, what's that half a cup for? He hasn't used that half a cup yet. What's the half a cup? It's for this. Stop wondering. Now a lot of people, they only eat burgers that are made with pure 100% beef and everything. No fillers whatsoever. Well, th well, there's a few different reasons why you want to do breadcrumbs in this case. Number one, the flavor of the Hawaiian bre uh, breadcrumbs specifically gives a extremely good flavor that I absolutely love. Me and my wife love it and everyone that, I've, that has had my burgers um, has said that they've really liked them. So, I mean, maybe they're lying to me. Maybe my wife is lying to me. Are you lying to me? She's not lying to me, she says. Or she shakes her head or 
Apparently they're good, okay? Number two, you gotta use the filler because to stretch that meat out as long as you can because bread is less expensive than meat and you need all that money to be able to buy V-Bucks. If you don't have money to buy V-Bucks, how are you going to get that next Victory Royale? I don't know. You tell me. You're not gonna need any oil. There's enough fat in an 80-20 blend to give you some peak flavor. Here's a little optional step if you don't, if you're really bad at forming burgers like I am, get a burger press. This one was from the dollar store. So I haven't used it before, but hopefully it'll work out okay. Ba -ba -ba. Take that press. That's pretty good. I think that the success, dollar store success. I also forgot you're gonna need something to flip them with. And that's what a spatula is for. Go ahead and put number one on there. Get it cooking. Get it cooking up good. Burger number two. This should be enough to make four burgers. I guess it depends on the size of the burger, like patty you want and everything. But I, this should be relatively enough to make quattro burger row. Yeah, it's close enough. It'll be fine. It'll still be delicious meat, if nothing else. And now it's just kind of a waiting game. You want to cook these for about five to six minutes on each side. You can cook them longer if you want. I like mine kind of like a medium rare to medium. I don't like them cooked all the way through. Uh, just, it's not as good. It's not bad. It's not as good. All right, now time to flip one of those. Ooh. Yup. At least one. Let's put, let's put two. Let's do two. Two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. That's what it should look like. These aren't ready yet, I don't think. Or maybe they are. Let's flip them and, and see. You know, I said that you don't need oil, but I don't, I got an 80-20 blend and I usually there's enough oil on the pan just from those but I don't think this is actually an 80-20 blend. I've never added oil to these but they're kind of sticking a little bit and that's kind of weird to me. But you know what they're still gonna be delicious I bet so I think it's fine. Hey do you think they're gonna be good burgers? Are they gonna be good burgers? Are you gonna want one? You want a burger? Yeah, you want a burger, don't you? You're a burger. Exploit your pets for views. So that way, you'll get YouTube money, and then you can buy the next game. Yeah, see, there we go. There's the oil. There's the oil. Why weren't you oily before? Why weren't you an oily boy? An oily boy. Why weren't you an oily boy? What a life sample of yours is the oily boys. Hanging out with the oily boys. This is gonna be some good Ooh. burgers. Not burgers from your Ooh. but good Ooh. burgers. All right, time to take off the burgers. Just take them off. You want to sit them on a plate. And let them rest for a minute. And while they're doing that, you can do one more optional but delicious step. Ooh, little nugget right there. That's gonna be for the dog. Optional step time, optional step time, optional step time. Toast your buns. To do that, what you're gonna need is spray butter, like always, laziness, and your buns. Preferably another pan too, because the one that you use to cook the burgers, that oil, is not as good for this kind of particular thing. Turn that bitch on, spray that bitch down. Going really quick because I don't think I should have to teach you how to toast a bun. Maybe I do. Y'all aren't that stupid, are you? Toast that sh You better toast that sh Toast that sh You better toast that sh While you're waiting for your buns to toast, stand there and contemplate your life's choices. Why am I here? What did I do to deserve this? Why am I recording myself making burgers for YouTube? Toasted. Ooh, starting to toast. Starting to toast. 
You know what? Let's do one at a time. I think that's that's the that's the Gordon Ramsay pro way to do it. Okay, that one looks. Ooh. That's hot. Why why did I not think about the fact that it was going to be hot? Okay, that one and then this one. All right, and yes. All right, good a good a good toast. All right, at this point, if you wanted to do something like add cheese, you know, whatever, obviously do that. I do not want to do that. Why do I have this in my hand if I'm just gonna grab it like a fucking animal? I just want a plain burger with a little bit of, a little bit of spicy ketchup. Just a little bit. And that's it, folks. And that's how you do it, everyone. That's how you make a delicious Hawaiian burger at home. Super easy, super delicious. Everything is super. Super gamer fuel, super calories, super victory royale. Thank you for watching, everyone. I truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. I don't know what it does, but do it because everyone else says to do it. And I'll see y'all next time. And remember, keep on gaming.